What's going on, everybody? And welcome to the Occult Gaming Channel with me, your host, Bella All Right. And today, I got some good news for you guys. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and continue with this Darksiders 2 playthrough. And this will be episode 21. And we're going to be able to continue a lot faster. So I'll be able to actually finish this playthrough for you guys in a timely fashion. And I just wanted to start off uh, by saying that um, I appreciate all you guys for your patience, uh, for sticking with me on this playthrough. Um, but finally, I will be able to finish it. Uh, I do have brand new equipment in order to record the video, so I shouldn't have any issues with recording anymore. I also have a more uh, consistent place to record, a more quiet place to record, so I should be able to record for you guys um, at least, uh, you know, maybe at least uh, three or four times a week, if not every day, depending on how I schedule it out. So we will get this playthrough done, and we will do playthrough subsequently of Darksiders 3, as well as Darksiders Genesis. So I definitely did want to tell you guys about that. So see you guys in a bit once we get to the uh, the preview screen, or as they call it on Darksiders, the journey so far. This is the tale thus far. The king's need was exceeded by anger. Those who would help were destroyed. But from their deaths, a new power, drawn from sin, and an army that would live once more. All right, so as you guys seen from the intro to this episode, I was able to, um, basically I'm gonna be able to continue this playthrough um, in a timely fashion and get you guys some episodes really quick. Um, what I didn't tell you guys is that the episode previous to this one that I recorded sometime in October, I believe, uh, that episode crapped out on me. And so I was not able to, um, I might even record it in like November or December. But anyway, that episode crapped out on me. And that's the episode I recorded on the older equipment. And so I had to resort to using the PS4 share footage I backed up. So thank goodness I had that because the only other file I had before that was from July. So uh, I would have had to upload that from the cloud um, or download that from the cloud to replace this file. Uh, but thankfully, um, we did have that PS4 share footage, so I won't have to waste time doing that. So I'll be doing post commentary over that. It'll be a market um, decrease in quality overall, uh, but I will go ahead and get that to you guys. So i um, look forward to that. So let's go ahead and get this playthrough started. Uh, yeah, I did basically come <clears throat> and I did most of this uh, dungeon here um, And it's been again so long since I played It's always like months in between these episodes now But that should be changing pretty soon. So we're in the city of the dead. I do remember we got the um, soul splitter from the uh, From the uh, Lord of Bones I don't know what to do in here now <clears throat> but I will be progressing forward. So below us is a locked door, I believe. Or it might have unlocked. Yeah, we've unlocked it. So we can now progress over there. We just drop down. Okay, so I remember some of this stuff. And yes. So that thing over there. I got that right. I don't quite remember, but I think I got that. I should maybe double check that, but I think we're good. So I'm gonna keep going. So if I did not get that, would you guys please tell me? Otherwise, I'm gonna have a hard time later on. Oh, yeah, these guys. Three of them, eh? That's fine. I might just combine that episode and this one. I think that makes the most sense. It'll just be super long. These bitches. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I'm not doing good. I'm not playing good at all. At all. Get the fuck out of here. I forgot how to dodge for a second. Okay. 
Okay. I don't mind getting. Yeah, I don't mind getting killed right there. I play like absolute shit. Having the dash button mapped to R1 is very weird. It is extremely weird. But it's especially weird when you're coming from playing Souls games. It's exceptionally weird. What else do I have? This. Is this worth it? What is this? Should probably get the. Uh, what's this? Something I was. Oh, possessed weapon I was just kind of trolling around with. Definitely shouldn't be using that. Um. Possess axe, health on crit. Oh no, this is a special weapon. Allegedly, but I don't see any like special abilities. Special weapons are got the little yellow thing around them. <clears throat> okay, let's do this again. to uh, dash. Concentrating there. Ah, oh, he isn't. He isn't dashing the way I want him to. There we go. Okay, that seems to hit him behind his shield a little bit. So I got three of these bastards to worry about now. Compared to those first three wraiths, um, these guys should be cake walked. So, 
Yuki shoulder check on me. It was like instant. He's dangerous. He can just turn on the dime. Yeah, crazy amounts of range too. Very careful about that. You know what? Let's just uh, just get him out of here. Yeah, we could build up uh, more Reaper once the other two come up. Cool with that. Oh, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Just a bunch of one-on-one -on -one fights. I'm really cool with that then. I didn't name this thing. It came in like this, right? Or, yeah, this thing came in like this. I'm gonna feed. I'm gonna feed it this thing. I'm gonna also feed it these things. And this thing, I think, maybe. Health per kill is pretty good. I think I'm just going to give it health per kill. It'll be like another healing weapon. And it's this thing, health per crit. Inferno. It's a lot of good stuff in here now. I'll just wait. <laughs> that one good. So I ain't gonna worry about the reaper form. I'm gonna do maximize the damage to these guys. Uh oh. I'll kill one. Damn. Managed to kill that one more. predictable in a lot of ways. <laughs> we got them all in one shot. I want that. That's what I want. 
cinematic kill. That's what I want. Alright, that was a tough stretch of combat. But we got through it. Just checking around, see if there's anything around here. I should be looking at the uh, environments too. It's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely going to combine, because um, the last episode was like only 40 minutes. Because <clears throat> I think I, I realized towards the end that it wasn't recording, so I just stopped. So I'm just going to combine it so you guys can see the jarring change in quality. Unless there really isn't one. Maybe it's all in my head. Um, but I always thought the PS4 share videos looked a little like in low quality. Um, oh, fuck. The one thing with the PS4 share is that it only records in um, 30 frames per second. So there will be a change in frames per second. It'll be weird. Combining them. Combining them is going to be weird. I probably shouldn't. Um, so I'm going to do more with this. Where is it? Here. This can be upgraded too, eh? It's an interesting weapon. <clears throat> As is this mace here. So, relics. Mm, cheaper wrath cost would be nice. <clears throat> Just take these since I can't get those abilities anyway. Mm, I guess I'll take the one resistance as well. Then again, I don't have to do all that. There we go. Alright, so... Oh, uh, they didn't even keep the, uh... They didn't even keep the, uh... The health upgrade. What was it? It, was, it wasn't health per kill. Was it health per kill? It might have been health per kill. It didn't keep the health per kill. Fair enough, I guess. Just kind of stacking on a bunch of stuff. <clears throat> Switch over. Oh no, shit. I realized that the last possible second with this was. This one's actually pretty hard, too. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I'm rusty. I'm gonna go. <laughs> he just stopped. I fucked up. I already fucked up. I gotta go down and get up. Yep. I definitely fucked that up. Hmm. That part was still confusing though, even though I knew what to do after I fucked up. There was like a lot of shit after that part. Like, what would be a shame is if I just, like, die right there. Which I want to actually test out, but I don't want to waste you guys' time. Because uh, if I had to do that over, I might fuck it up a couple more times before I successfully completed it again. The timing on that is just so tight. <clears throat> it's just incredibly tight. Uh, hold the phone. That's that guy. 
That's that guy. These guys are so cool. <clears throat> anything else over here that's cool oh is that the world tree over there I wish I had binoculars in this game pretty sure that's the world tree I was super invincible. Okay. I don't imagine that's the end. It is, okay. That was kind of random. I vaguely remember over here being a uh, fight with the, um, the Lich. I think, yeah. Oh no, it's this guy. Anything to really offset that? I don't think so. Should have uh, kept the skeletons going. I gotta do all this shit over? Damn. I think I do have the chest from over there though. So that's good. I forget you can save it. So I'm gonna try to get through this without using any items. So be it. That doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Let me just, uh. I guess I don't want to say that. Okay, I got one of them. Maybe should I save it after that? My health is like, oh, I can't save it.
<laughs> damn, damn. I'm just gonna save it so I don't deal with that every time. Really? Okay, this it's all one area, so there's no save in between. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Can't cheap it. Challenges out of three. The last one's with the Lich. It's gonna be the hardest one. I do remember the Lich. Yeah, I do remember this one. And I fucked it up already. Okay. Not quite. I had something in my pocket. Got ace in a hole, as they say. This would have been exceptionally harder if I didn't come in with the Reaper form. Got two. Which part was the part I used to die on the most? I don't know why. Um, I don't remember ever having that much trouble with the poison part, but that's probably because I kept the range. Yeah, these things travel pretty far. Alright, we just drop down. <clears throat> feels like there's more to do because there is there's a lot more to do though below is a treasure chest can I get back up if I fall down below let's try it out yes all right go um i have no idea what to expect uh, i forgot basically everything about this game at this point well not everything i guess i remembered about those fights over there at least about the lich part
into a puzzle room. I believe we've seen this room before from below. Yep. Goes to this big old room here. So we're going to want to lower that thing, it looks like. Or it's actually above us. Never mind. I thought we were up there. We're actually on the floor below. Is that death laughing? I heard him do it before when he killed the other bug, but I wasn't sure if that was him or if it was a different enemy in there. I guess that's him. I never noticed that before, that he laughs like that. It's actually pretty creepy. Okay, so on we go. Next will be this way. And I guess this won't be episode 21. Because it'll be folded in the last episode, so I'll have to give a preamble to that episode. Probably it because this looks locked. Yeah, there's nothing in there anyway. So up we go. Backwards. What else is over here? I feel like they're always hiding stuff from me. It's just like uh, gated off, so I couldn't make that. Probably even if I climbed up there. I'm sure I couldn't. <clears throat> I kind of want to try, but I kind of want to just proceed forward and make progress. So curiosity is beaten by progress. I think this I remember. This part I remember having a ton of secrets. That over there in particular has secrets. Um, I think I need to use the splitter here. I'm gonna send this one over here and get these items. So even though I'm barely going anywhere, <clears throat> this one's already already wigging out. <laughs> and there's something maybe under too as well. Uh, looks like it. What the hell? Hold on, what just happened? Everything went to shit. Everything just just went to shit. Okay. How did you not grab onto that? Like, I equipped it and everything, and he still shot a gun. Okay. But there's more to this place than meets the eye. Hmm. There's way more to this place. See, there's that back there. There's the uh, the gnome statue. How the hell do I get in there? 
I forget. I think that's like the end of my life. If I tried that. Hmm. <clears throat> I forget. I did it before. I definitely did it before. But I cannot remember how to do it this time. So I might have to come back here later. Uh, so I can't even get over here without that thing there. Hmm. Hold on. Let me do this now. Let me try this. <clears throat> Where is it? Is it stuck? This form is somehow stuck. One of them was actually stuck. Okay. There we go. Or I do see that this like locks or closes depending on if you're on that. Oh, right. Okay, that's, that's what it was. That was the fucking secret. Duh. Now I can get off. <laughs> Duh. Nice. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. But not quite. I really wasn't paying as much attention as I should have been. Alright. Well, is it, it isn't wicking out all the way yet. I should be doing it. My goddamn gnome. Nomad's gnome. A mysterious gnome statue left by Nomad. Got it. And that's one of four. So I've been probably I missing these. Scythe. Um, this one isn't quite leveled up, right? It is. <clears throat> this one isn't. Oops. Shield fist. Oh yeah. Shield fist. Mm. I don't want either one of these statistics. Because if I had to pick one, it would be lightning. Okay. Cool. I can pick this up and go about our merry little way. There you go. I struggled a bit, but now you guys don't have to if you haven't found that nomad. And that will, of course, chronicle how I got that. Uh, by the chronicle, I just mean provide the timestamp. <laughs> So I pressed back on the uh, thumbstick and he still pressed it forward. So I'm glad he made it so that I didn't look like an idiot. Thank you, Death. Alright, so we can go over there and do who knows what. 
nothing because that's currently locked. We can go over there and get a shadow bomb. It is currently locked. So what I will do is move this thing. Oh. He didn't do anything I wanted at all there. Okay. Right? No? I can't has it. Apparently can't has it. So I think I would just fall, right? Probably have to open it from over there. Okay, on we go. This guy. These guys. I was still on my knees. Oh, he didn't hit me though. Guess he wasn't aiming at me. Okay, come on over here. There we go. That's right. I'm gonna fucking load. Um, I really need to update my weapons, honestly. <clears throat> Take a look at my equipment, too. Uh, so this is full again. Man, this balancing act is really annoying. So I got another possessed mace at 17. 
I'm okay. I'm just gonna, um, cause I'm getting too many items. I'm just gonna feed that to this anyway. Oh, but that comes with some interesting stuff already. F frost and piercing. Still. <clears throat> yeah, I'm fine. Critical chance. Health on crit. I think I want health on crit. Health per kill would be cool too. Critical damage. Health per kill, health on crit. Mm, I'm not gonna really be using this anyway, so this whatever I put on here is fine. What else I got? Um, health on crit, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Just to get rid of some stuff. What the hell did I just do? Make sure there ain't shit else in this room. Yeah, I used up all of my potions, so if I get another big fight, I am screwed. I need to figure something out. <clears throat> Rusty as hell. This isn't really a difficulty to be Rusty on. Enemies have a lot of HP. They hit really hard. But even still, I'm, I'm, I'm still more empowered than I was in uh, Darksiders 3. Even when I got really good at the game and had all the best items and equipment, I still was like two hits away from uh, being ended at, at any and all times in that game. Here, I, I get like three hits off rip and I have ample um, opportunities to get that HP back. That gave me a chance to see that coin over there. Shit. <clears throat> Alright. Coin be over him. There we go. Coin gotten. Whoa! Hold on, these that just damaged me. That was crazy. Uh, I'm wondering if this thing could kill me. Oh, he can! Jesus, that wasn't good. <laughs> oh, fuck it! Don't kill me. <clears throat> Damn, that was messed up. Yeah, that was legitimately messed up. Okay. I never knew. I never knew he could actually hurt you. I gotta get the hell up out of here. Oh, you, this animation is retarded. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go. Wow. Wow, can I get a, a pick with this thing right quick? Let's, 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 let's get a selfie. Let's get a couple of them. I don't think I got a good one, though. That's fine. Um, I have no idea where this goes, the skeleton key. I guess there was that area on the other side. The opposite side of here. We'll try that. Oof, glad I made that. Alright. That would be this place. 
place. And I can get there from down, it appears. Why I never considered that before, I do not know. I guess I didn't um, pay enough attention to my surroundings. Right, here we go. Mind your surroundings. Shit. Uh, which one is this? Number 10? Alright. Number 1. Oh, we have completed two chapters already. Wow. Okay, cool. Sucks. He's the worst jumper out of all the horses. Even even war jumps. Uh, even war is more athletic jump wise than a death is. Uh, Fury has the best platform, in my opinion. That's her claim to fame. Is she's the horseman with the best platform. She's not the she's not the mage as they told her she would be. She's the best platformer. Death is clearly the mage. I would even say war is a better mage than Fury is. I suppose I am spoiling things. Let me just let that ride out. No pun intended. Legitimately, I, I didn't intend for that to to go like that. Right down we go. You know, if there's shit here to break, I'm the man to do it. Okay, I'm seeing this one. Oh, look at that. We, we got something for breaking all the shit. What do we get? Shadow of Death Gloves. Forged in the darkest vaults of hell by Demon Master Smiths, the Shadow of Death Gauntlets channel the dark powers of magic into the, rare, the wearer, embracing their arcane ability and improving the potency of wrath energy. All right. Whoa, I got a new set. A whole new set. Um, Shadow of Death Boost. Forged in the darkest vaults of hell by Demon Master Smith, the Shadow of Death boots um, channel the dark powers of magic into the wearer, enhancing their arcane ability and, and improving the potency of wrath. Okay, same shit. Uh, Shadow of Death shoulder piece. This looks like, uh, well, it looks like, um, fuck, from DC Comics. It looks like, uh, uh how did I forget his name? The guy Superman always fights, Doomsday. It looks just like Doomsday. But it also looks like, um, it reminds me of uh, Death's brother, Absalom. But also reminds me of those uh, trauma demons from Dark Siders 1. And this has the shame. Nope, it's a little bit different. A forge in the darkest vaults of hell by Demon Master Smiths. The shadow of Death shoulder piece bears the snarling face of the ancient demon prophet. Channeling the dark powers of magic into the wearer, this shoulder guard enhances the arcane ability of the wearer, improving the potency of their wrath energy. Wow. I got some cool shit. Alright, let's upgrade. It's about time. We've been wearing the same armor for like the last 10 hours. So let's do something about that. So actually the defense for this goal is down. The maker set has better defense. But this increases our arcane ability. So we'll be using that. Whoa, that looks fucking cool. I never had this in the original copy of Darksiders 2. Oh no. Hold on, is it because I had too much shit here? I think it's because I had too much shit here. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
What does it say? Hold on, it just said something. It just gave me like a warning. I guess once I get rid of something, it'll give me the last piece of armor. Um, shit. Where's the hammer at? Where's the maximum of that? Here it is. <laughs> Look at me panicking and shit. Um, I'm gonna load it back if. It's that thorns, critical damage. Hey, I don't really care. What do you even do one more? Shit, did I. Ugh. I want the leg piece. Hold on, I'm gonna load it back. If I can you load it back? I don't think you can load the shit. Ugh. Um what? Hold on, what what's this? What's the symbol that keeps popping up? Do you guys know what that symbol is? I'm so confused right now. Um, I'm super fucking confused right now. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that over. I'm gonna do that over. And I don't know. I don't know what else. I'm very confused right now and I might have already fucked it up. I didn't know I was full up on armor. This is the tale thus far. And I didn't know you could um Fuck that up like that. The king's need was exceeded by anger. Those who would help well, you can't were skip destroyed. These. But from their deaths, a new power drawn from sin and an army that would live once more. Okay, how much of that was saved? I am where? Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. Fine, it's what it, it, whatever. I'm okay with that. Okay, so that's over there. I used the key already. What's my inventory look like? Okay. So let's just go ahead and preemptively take care of this shit. Crazy. Craziness. <laughs> you really gotta pay attention to your inventory because you might really screw some stuff up. Uh, defense critical damage. Okay. And defense strength. Fine. I really should be trying to turn that into something. Um, but I'm okay. So it saved all this stuff. It saved me breaking all that stuff. Oh no, and all this stuff's already broken. So I don't even have the chance to get the shit. Oh, this is shitty. This is so shitty. Okay, never mind. I just don't have it. Because I broke it and it saved after I broke everything. But it didn't save the fact that I had those items. It is okay. Fuck. Fuck. 
Now, I could be really sad about that, um, but I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I kind of did want those items, but it is what it is. Hold on, what's going on here? Yeah, it's pretty crappy that they programmed it like that. I will admit. Oh no. Why is that right there like that? It doesn't really make sense for that to be there, I don't think. But I guess there's something I don't see at the current moment. Okay, this part I remember. Somewhat. So what's the deal with this shit? Oh, okay. In case I get stuck here, but I'm still stuck here. So what is the deal with this place? Okay. Yeah, that was a cool bit of gear, but it was just extra inventory clutter. And I did want to see what the skirt was about, but I, I really didn't want the set without the whole set. this thing so we get the N S S E N <clears throat> once we get to the soul arbiter's maze yeah I wanted to see what the whole set looked like so I'm gonna have to do some crazy stuff to see that going forward That's, that's a disappointment, more so for the fact that it's like annoying. Because they really should have let you somehow get the, um, get the armor set. a really good arm. Second only to Razio from Soul Reaver 2. Razio from Soul Reaver 2 has, he can throw like weapons an infinite amount of distance. Basically until they collide with an invisible wall. There's no like downward trajectory to his throw. It just continues <laughs> in a straight line indefinitely. I'm gonna have to show you guys that one day. Okay, so next um, is going to be right here behind me, right? No, it's not right. Excuse me. So is this where I came from? Or no, I got to do this to bring this downwards. 
All the way down. That's far. Wow. Okay. So if there's a boss fight up there, we are screwed. We are in trouble. And I might travel to, um... <clears throat> That's not what I meant. Please don't. No. No. I screwed up. I screwed up. I don't know why I pressed that again. I wasn't paying attention. Well, now you know you can do that. And we're still not done. This is being close to the top. I uh, wouldn't knock just animation. Okay, one more time. Sorry. Sorry, guys. In my head, I was turning it. And that's just not what happened. It's not at all what happened. Unfortunately, this one is getting really long, so I think I might still end up separating the episodes. Okay. That was a good waste of two fucking minutes. Okay. So what we gotta do is turn it counterclockwise. Getting that uh, side here, down here. So yeah, these things again. I mentioned it before, but they look just like uh, blood omen characters, blood omen imagery. Really, the whole the whole thing is like blood omen imagery. Blood omen two specifically. Okay, so I'm gonna save it here, and hopefully we get some treasure chests in here to give us some. Uh, Gold is fine, but I need potions, man. Yes, thank you. At least one potion. And I accidentally used my... Sweet. Okay. You know what? That's really all I want. That's, that's really it. I think I can handle things otherwise. I can't remember which boss fight this was. Was this the big Cthulhu thing or did I already fight that? I think this might be the big Cthulhu thing. Which was actually a tough boss. So I need to be very, very careful. How much shit do I have? Two and two? Okay. I think that should suffice. I'm gonna go into it with a pistol. Uh, at least I think this is a boss fight. Save it one more time. Let's go. Yep, big Cthulhu thing. Whoa. This place looks like, uh, like Pumpkin Hill from uh, Sonic Adventure 2. This is giving me that vibe. And also the haunted area from Sonic Adventure or from Sonic Heroes. Looks a lot like that too. Alright, on to this boss fight. It's gonna be some old bullshit. I remember uh, struggling with this guy before. Google monster. I struggled, 
I just remember struggling. Probably because this shit is unavoidable. Where you aiming? Yeah. Buddy. Shit. Shit. She's a vulnerable, squishy brain. And bring the assholes. I'm ready. Bring the assholes. Ooh, fuck. Maybe I'm not ready. Wasn't ready for that bullshit. Dragons, really? Fuck. I just can't get caught in no uh, animation. Huh. I'm scared. Like, even he's waiting. What the fuck are the dragons? No dragons. Still no dragons. Okay. Skeletons, no dragons. This asshole is back. Not 
not a very good fight. That's fine. Those are always fun as hell. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, and uh, I did want to pop in and let you guys know I did get the um, achievement soul crushing for defeating the wailing host. Uh, I did forget to um, turn on my notifications because I turned them off so that you guys aren't inundated with a bunch of. Um, with a bunch of uh, notifications from my games that are downloading messages from my friends and stuff like that so yeah just wanted to show you guys that i did get this trophy so um you do get this as soon as you defeat the wailing host all right so we got the um vander smash <laughs> vander smash <laughs> vander smash um for from materials of realms beyond uh brought to one in the name of dark magic posting with an eerie presence of vestigial anguish this hammer is feared not only for its power, but for its ties to shadow to a shadow cult. Hmm. What shadow cult? New campaign, the Abyssal Forge. This I never even heard of before. Uh, the Abyssal Forge is a living machine designed to harness the unfocused dark power of the abyss. The maker who built this abomination is known as the Mad Smith. Is known only as the Mad Smith was shunned by his own people and sealed away in the Shadowlands with his creation. Access this content from additional campaigns on the main menu. Okay. Yeah, this I never played, the Abyssal Forge. I don't know why it's suddenly available, but okay, I'll take it. Maybe it's because I reached a certain level. Nope, oh, still haven't leveled up. I'm at level 17. All right, well, he wasn't as tough as I remembered him to be. We kind of um, rolled through him. We had more trouble with the camera than we did with him, so take that for what you will. Horseman, I believe you call. Bro, father, I am the one you seek. And where else would I be but the city of the dead? Would you like to ask a question? Or just stand there like you've seen a ghost. Tell me how to reach the Well of Souls. The Well of Souls is a place of unimaginable power. The key to life and death. Of creation itself. And that is why the Well has a key of its own. Well, that was divided long ago. The angels keep one half. And the demons the other. And never shall the two meet. Unless you truly mean to save your brother. To save war, I would storm the White City. Of that, I am more than certain. But there is no need. The angels have realms beyond the White City, as the demons do beyond their dark kingdom. All will become clear to you once you reach the tree. I've already done that, Crowfather. Nevertheless, you must find the tree again. And go wherever it takes you. Absalom lives. Yes, Absalom lives on. His rage and agony spread as corruption. And he will unmake all of creation to destroy the balance. I killed Absalom once, Crowfather. If I could go back, I would see him spared. 
I doubt he would grant you the same courtesy. Yeah, true. How can I restore humanity? The well of souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. Did he? And in other times, that would be enough. Okay. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Hmm. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls, yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. Really? Hmm. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin, to restore mankind? The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Hmm. That's a good point. You raise a good point, Crowfather. Make haste for the tree. Oh, a gift. Okay. Make haste for the tree. <laughs> okay. So we're done here. We're done in the uh Deadlands. Make haste for the tree. Um, are there any Make haste for the tree. Else I wanted to do. Uh, there's, there's gotta be some more missions to do here. Nope. Return to the tree of death. All right. Well, that's that story. We've killed a kid and now we got to report back to Thane. Depose King. We still got that to do. We got the book of the dead. We got some of the lost uh, relics. Do I have the the thing I need to actually kill these things? I'm not sure I have what's needed to um, kill this. I think you need a certain item to uh, see into to see those invisible creatures. Uh, what am I going to do? I am going to go. I'm going to sell a bunch of shit, I think. Before I leave. Let's go sell some shit. I keep this menu is kind of confusing, actually. There we go. All right. I want to go. I do need to go to the serpent home. So I'm going to go here. Uh, I guess try to feed these things as much as I can before I sell everything. I can't sell anything here. Or I can't feed. I can feed this one, which is mostly done. Um, defense, damage, arcane. What else can I do here? What else can I do with you? Reaper on execute, maybe? I think I'll save that. Wrath kill, execution chance. That stuff's really cool. Wrath per hit. That I'll take. That I'll take. Um, and now it's done. So everything else is like extra. Critical giant damage, critical chance. Uh, it's a lot of good stuff I got here. Um, health on crit. So I'll just get rid of that. 
Health on crit, health per kill, critical chance, inferno. That's fine. Get rid of that. Um, the arm blades. I guess I can try the Vander Smash. So these are like special items that you can also level up. It's kind of weird. Spellbinder Kyle. Critical damage, that's fine. Defense goes up a little bit, so does Arcane. It's fine. And that's maxed out, okay, cool. And that is this thing. So now I can just sell it. Oops. All right. So this thing can also be upgraded. Shadow Cult. Well, we are the occult gaming channel. Might as well use it. Looks pretty cool, actually. I kind of dig it. So what do I want from this thing? Um, what was I getting from this? Just power and critical chance and the health boost. So to differentiate it from that, what I can do is I can make it do, it can just be just insanely powerful and give me really good magic, I think. I think this would be like my magic hammer. Um, by default, it is fairly strong. Slow but fairly strong. Not insanely strong, but it's actually okay compared to my other stuff. Actually, it's probably my strongest um, just on a pure damage standpoint. Well, <clears throat> other than the Mace Maximus, which I've been upgrading. This will be... We're going to do first off Arcane. Yeah, we're gonna do arcane. Yeah, this will be the arcane weapon. We could do health per kill as well. Hmm. Let's see, this also has. So if I stick to fire damage, strength. Okay, let's get something else with fire damage. Something with just fire damage on it. Dang. Fire damage and wrath per kill. And that's gonna automatically take it up, so that's not gonna. I just want something with just fire damage. This is fine, I think. Could also do that. But I think this will be fine. Wrath per kill. Wrath per kill is a really good ability, too, though. Alright, so this gives all that. So I want the I want the health per kill, honestly. But health per kill isn't that good either. Health or wrath per kill. Hmm. So we'll do we'll do health per kill, I think. Or we can do wrath per kill. We'll do wrath per kill actually. So I did all that uh to do wrath per kill. The Wrath per Kill makes more sense. If it's gonna be an arcane weapon, we're gonna want that anyway. Um, defense will be a throwaway stat. Defense crit, defense crit. It's experience, defense arcane, perfect. Defense arcane. Defense Arcane Resistance. Defense Arcane. Um, where else? Defense Arcane. Just defense. Oh, uh, that's fine too. Just pure Arcane. Do we got that? Yes. But that's also Health on XQ, which is really good. Mmm. Cool. Okay, defense would be pretty good too, though, honestly. But we'll do the arcane. 
All right, so now we got Arcane on there. What else can we do? We could just do Pure Wrath. We could definitely just do Pure Wrath. So let's do that. Just Pure Wrath. Okay, Resistance Health. Um, yeah, Wrath. Anymore with just Wrath. Yes. Health is good too, though, but this will be Wrath. And we can do one more ability. Um, hmm. Resistance to resist magic. You can do anything, really. You can do HP. Um, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Critical damage, sure. Arcane critical would be nice too, though. Health regen would be nice. Arcane critical. Arcane critical. Hmm. Let's see if we can get it. critical everything with arcane critical we're gonna sacrifice almost got it our last chance to increase any sort of defenses uh, yeah, we're gonna do that Dur smash is a magic weapon please please take a look anything I want to sell Guess this generic stuff. Yes, I'll make good use of this. What's that? Wrath for a kill is pretty good. Critical Reaper. Possess double sight. It's only level 14. I'm gonna sell it. A fair price. 13. With a bunch of stuff on it. Okay. Sell it. Piercing Inferno. Oh. Sell it. Yes, I'll make good use of this. Reaper energy. Execution chance. Uh, if it's a low level, I think I am going to sell it. Let's see, what are these? Yeah, I'm just going to sell it. Reaper energy per kill. That is a really good ability, though. Health on crit. Kill, execution chance. It's pretty low level. I'm gonna sell it. A fair price. Um, Gorewood Small hasn't leveled up yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Skeletal Axe is leveling up with us for some strange reason, so I'm gonna keep that around. Shoot Fist has about reached its um the end of its uh, usefulness, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. I should, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it around for a little bit like an idiot. Um, piercing critical, right health on crit, 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 crit. Uh, kidneys, fangs, mega blades. I should just probably sell this stuff, but I'm gonna keep it around for a little bit longer. This I might use for something else, so I'm gonna keep that around. Right here is weak. Sell that. Almost that strength guilt. Sell. 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 Yes, sell. I'll make good use of this. <laughs> All right, I got a lot of stuff here. Crit damage. None of it's useless, though. I will say that. Mm. A 
fair price. I used a bunch of stuff anyway. Yeah, none of this stuff is really useless. But I do really need to clear out my inventory. From him, I'm actually gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a couple of potions, I think. What I got? Okay. I'm just, I don't know. It's probably too much potions to, to be bought. Okay. Um, I think we are done. We could do some extra shit here, but really it's unclawed for us, so. Uh, I guess for right now, um, eh, let's travel to the tree. Then we'll end it at the tree. Oh yeah, we can get these treasure chests as well. So let's go ahead and do that, honestly. Um, and to do so, can we just like travel here? Okay. So yeah, we've already done this old song and dance, so let's go ahead and get these treasure chests that we left before. And for now, we'll know that uh, the shadow thingy, soul splitter, is how we, uh, how we get them. Yeah, not shadow thingy, soul splitter. Oh shit. I ended up up here anyway. What a joke. Okay, here we go. Down. To the left. Over. Down. To the right. Down. To the left. Whoa, death. Come on, man down that's how it's done apparently hmm. oh, here oh I fucked that up I fucked that up I was really in the groove of doing this. And it just was not. That's what happens when you're on autopilot. You make dumb mistakes like that. You must always be present. Okay. Soul splitter. Gotcha. I'm an idiot. Kind of a dumb moment. I'm always just like ready to position them how I want to position them. Like with uh, myself in the center. For some reason. I think I shoot this. Okay, I guess I cannot. 
shoot that until I have it over here. Oh, is that like a cheap way of um, Let me actually try something. X and LY circle. Is that what I want? What is the shoot button? Never mind. Anyway. Okay, no, they, that might have been a problem before, but it looks like they fixed it. Cool. Are you? Sweet. Yeah, go to your master. What about you? Is something else in there of course there is of course there is you gotta pay attention to your surroundings I just thought about it I was like what if there is something else over there that I did not pay attention to and turns out there's a glowing light wow wow okay resistance uh, sound bite now we can go Yeah, I love being able to have a computer where I can actually rely on the recording to go through because I can actually do long plays of this game. I can play this game. I've been playing out for almost two hours. It's ridiculous. So this will either be like an extra long um, episode. Not so fast, horseman. You are following me. So I am. I will remain here at the tree should you have need of me on your quest <laughs> and dust has a beak for more than corpses horsemen follow him and you will find the key follow dust find the key can't be that easy cool father you may be right death the future is a secret even i cannot keep Make haste for the tree. All right, cool. So yeah, it just feels good being able to record for as long as I can, uh, when I can. So, so we're good. We're back in business, baby. So, uh, to celebrate that, I'm just gonna make this one super duper long episode. Um, so I guess this won't be episode 21. This will just be 20. It'll be all packaged into one episode, pretty much. Or no, it will be 21, right? Or will it be? I don't even know. I think it'll be 20 actually because I'll be combining it with the previous episode together. It'll be over two hours. It'll be probably two hours and almost 30 minutes. So anyways, appreciate you guys for watching this episode. Um, look forward to the next one where things will be back on track. Um, I'm not rusty anymore and the recording should be good. Um, and so, yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Till next time. Stay safe out there. Peace.